I read once that, that everyone or most people have a place or a kind of terrain or topography or geography in which they feel most at home or most comfortable. Well, my earliest memories were the hills of Brown County. I feel more at ease, more at home in these rolling hills of southern Indiana than I do anywhere else. But this is the place I know, and this is the place, because I know it, I can write about it, and I can, can, can feel it and can convey it, I hope. Reverend Shadrick Bostwick doctored soles and boots. How could you walk upon this earth with devils in your shoes? He'd rise at three on Sunday and ride from church to church. And through the week he'd ruminate and do the cobbler's work. Faith was spread thin there in that place in time. Preached to congregations of seven, eight, or nine. Right home after midnight, limp as frostbit grass. Souls of his listeners were infinitely blessed. One of the things that I've always loved about true rural people. You had to be a jack of all trades. You had to have many skills. You had to be able to fix this if it broke over here. You had to be able to mend that, cobble that. And these are all parts of being human and skills that we have lost as a society now. And Reverend Shadrick Bostwick could go and preach the high word, and then he could go and work with his hands. He'd take two strips of leather, mold them around the last, stitch it all together till surely it held fast. He'd hold an empty shoe, stick his foot deep inside. He'd say the shoe's the body and soul's the foot inside. And folks could tell the difference between leather and flesh and the word it was sold all through the wilderness. Faith was spread thin there in that place in time. He preached to congregations of seven, eight, or nine. Right home after midnight, limp as frostbit grass. Souls of his listeners were infinitely blessed. January Sunday, his mare broke her leg. Stumbled in a woodchuck hole, too far gone to sing. And through the snow falling, his Bible in his shirt. He walked eight miles of snow drifts to his next church. His feet were numb with frostbite, the fire could not erase. No amount of stamping could put feeling in their place. Faith was spread thin there in that place in time. Preached to congregations of seven, eight, or nine. Right home after midnight, limp as frostbit grass. Souls of his listeners were infinitely blessed. From that morning onward, Bostwick never spoke of the foot inside the boot as the image of the soul inside his earthly body that once had been so warm. Bostwick felt the terror of the flesh forever now. Faith was spread thin there in that place and time. Preached to congregations of seven, eight, or nine. Right home after midnight, limp as frostbit grass. Souls of his listeners infinitely blessed. And the souls of his listeners were infinitely blessed. Mm. <laughs> A little different endings, huh? Yeah. We'll just do it that way every time. I like that. That's good. You're pretty good for a farmer. <laughs> for a farmer? <laughs> for a hay farmer. Okay. You play all right. <laughs>